what tayammum can be made on in common problems. It is permissible to perform tayammum on dirt, sand, baked clay like in bricks or unglazed pottery, and various rocks like marble, chalk, and limestone. However, according to some marjas, one cannot perform tayammum on baked clay, chalk, or limestone. One cannot perform tayammum on dirt or gravel that is mixed with a substance that tayammum is not allowed on. Of course, if the substance is so little and inconsiderable, there is no problem. The substance which the yamam is performed on must be tahir and it shouldn't be usurped. If we miss even a small part of our forehead or the back hands while wiping, our tayammum will be invalid. Let it be intentional out of forgiveness or ignorance. In the hands, for example, if any of the fingers are not wiped, the tayammum will be void. This is why one must remove his or her rings before wiping the hands in tayammum. The area that is being wiped must be tahir, should not have any barrier on it, and should be wiped completely. If there is a barrier on one's forehead, fingers, palms, or the back hands, like when glue is stuck on them, it must be removed before performing tayammam. One's forehead, palms, and back hands must be tahir in tayammam. However, if one's palms are najis and he cannot make them tahir, he must perform tayammam with the najis hands. In the same way, if there is a wound on the palms that is covered and can't be removed, one has to wipe the forehead and back hands with that hand anyway. If one doubts after wiping his back hands whether he performed dayamam correctly or not, he should disregard the doubt and assume it was done correctly. If one performs dayamam due to the absence of water or any other reason, his dayamam becomes void when that excuse goes away. The last point is that if one performs tayammum in place of ghusl e he shouldn't perform wudu or tayammum. Instead, 